So what we're going to make here are Guatemalan worry dolls. So a worry doll is a doll that you put under your pillow to take all your worries and your nightmares away. And so you keep your doll under your pillow. And sometimes, you know, people will have even more than one for their different um, worries that they have. Okay? And so the way that we're going to make it is with this, which is just a craft uh, pin like this one. And I'm going to uh, get a little closer. But you're just going to take it and to begin with, just draw, let me get it in focus. So draw one, one eye and the eyeball. This is actually probably easier to do if I put it down. So let me put that one. I'll put it right here. Look on a little bed. And here's the other eye. So with this you could be a little bit more exact than with paint, although you could do it with paint. I did this one with a paintbrush, but it is easier with this. So there's a little nose, and I can do a little mouth. Just like that. So here are my brushes, and I'm just going to get a small small brush like this and I've got some paint so I'm going to grab a little bit of this white tiny little bit of the pink put it in there and just do one little cheek there one little cheek there and then I, I could paint her hair, which usually I think I would paint black, but we're going to go ahead and since the only colors I have on my palette right now are orange and yellow, I'm sorry, pink and yellow, I'm going to use those colors. So just a little bit more. So I want the color to be quite thick and shiny. So I'm going to add a few layers. Now what I would suggest is if you have a heat gun to go ahead and dry it before you continue. And I do have one but I'm going to do it. I'm just going to risk it without it for now. So there it is. And so then the next part you do is you can um, take a paintbrush. I'm going to take a flat brush for this part. And you can either, like with this one, what I did is I collaged this, her little shirt on there. And then this is made of cloth. But you can go ahead and paint this. So you can add, you know, however many coats of paint you would like for the, the shirt. You could paint the whole thing, but I think if you paint it, you know, and it's just a piece of painted wood, it takes away a little bit from the Guatemalan worry dolls because the Guatemalan worry dolls are traditionally all made out of cloth. And Guatemala is very well known for the beautiful fabrics that they have. And so they are, yeah, they're sewn and they're actually even quite a bit smaller than these two. And, but this is a, an easy way to do them. So I like to do them like this, but I do like to add the cloth just to give it the spirit of Guatemala. And so I could go ahead and decorate this in any way, make it any color also, maybe add a little bit of 
orange. Pink. This pink makes it orange. Like this. Now, I could also do it all in collage. I mean, you could really, there's so many things you could do because this is wood. And wood is just so great for doing things with. But I'm going to give her a skirt. And I think this color will look great with her. Maybe not with her hair, but it'll look great with her shirt. But before I do that, I'm going to take this. And what these are is just uh, craft, craft pipe cleaners. I'll show you the package. They're actually called chenille stems. And all I did was take them and cut them in half because there's four of them in a row. So cut them in half like this because that, this way they could be like arms that I'm going to put around. But I'm going to wait for this to dry a little bit more before I add the arms on. And so what I'm going to do now is with this little, and these are just fabric remnants that I bought from Joanne Fabrics where they sell them in little bags. I'm going to put these on leaving this part. And so I just have Elmer's glue and I will put the glue all, actually it's easier if I have it like this, I'll put the glue all on the, on the stick, not all the way down because I'm going to paint it a little bit, although Elmer's glue dries clear so that's, that's actually okay if you do it all the way down. And so here's her skirt, see how much of her toes I'm going to leave showing, and there she is. Right here, of course, I'll add some more glue. Maybe I'll add all the glue right here. And there. There it goes. Looks like a sarong. And for the feet, all that I, I'll do is um, take a sharpie and there's different ways like these feet see I painted them because the the face was white so they were painted and then black around it for like sandals but the easiest way is just to make toes like that so it's really you can go either way so let's see with this one I am going to do oh my marker is not working that's the thing about these uh, magic markers, that sometimes they don't work. So like that, one, two, three, there are her toes. And then I can paint the back in any color. So in this case, I will paint it an orange. Bless you. Thank you. I will paint it a little bit of an orange so it will go with this same color as her skirt, her skirt and you won't really be able to, um, to see it. And I can go ahead and paint in between there too. Right there. Oops, got a little bit on there. But that's good. All right, so now we're ready for her arms. So let's see, should they be this color arms or maybe we will do red arms. Red arms will look good, won't they? Yeah. And so. Oops. Start from start from the front, and then pull one over this way, and the other one this way. And you can plan it just so that they are actually the same. You could put them around the neck, 
and then bring them down so it looks like she's got a cool scarf on. And there she's like a fancy. See, because it looks like her scarf. Or like this one where the arms were put around the middle and then this little crystal was super glued on to her chest and so she can hold or not hold her crystal of love or like the fancy girl here like that so it's pretty easy um, you can use super glue for all kinds of jewels on there or for things on her head for hats uh, for hair there's just all kinds of neat things you could do so I look forward to seeing what you make and we will check back on here in a minute and see why my what my two friends made that have joined us today okay so we we're gonna share a little bit further what we are doing so this this little doll got a feather on her back because she was so fancy she wanted a feather and then one of our students uh, wrote love and she put um, I need it. and then so how old are you Maya? Six. So six. So this is by a six-year-old. Bees and how old are you? Four? Four and a half. Four and a half year old made these three guys. So they, they still need eyes and toes. But we're going to have... He's got shoes. Oh, he's got shoes on. So there's all kinds of things and little dolls that you can make a little bit. I wanted to show you this one now. This one had the face painted white. And it was wrapped with, uh, with yarn. And then these wings were wrapped on. So there's just all kinds of things that you could do with these.